My name is Mike Kolkmeyer. I'm the Midwest Territory Manager for Nulo Pet Food. Nulo started about 2004, 2005. Our owner, Michael Lander, he actually used to own a pet sitting business out in California. And he started getting a lot of requests for insulin shots. And he really raised a lot of questions, you know, why I have to do this? And started doing a lot of research and he felt obligated to come out with food that was a direct response to obesity and diabetes. Nulo really stands for high meat, grain free. Um, so we do 80 to 85 percent meat and everything we do is grain free. But we try to take it a step further, really making sure that everything carb wise is not only low in carb but also low glycemic. Nulo is actually the official pet food of Ironman and we have 14 Olympic athletes that endorse the product. I have a overweight Chirini and Nulo Trim has been the only thing consistently over six years that I've been able to have him on that he actually keeps weight off and does really well on. So it's my favorite because most weight loss diets really you think it's better for being a weight loss but most of the time they don't have the, the right amount of meat and they drop fat and try to drop calories well they just add carbohydrates and if you have too many carbs in your diet you still stay overweight so it's really trying to change that conversation of where their calories are coming from coming from real meat actual meat and being very conscious in the carbs and being higher in fiber Stores like the Pet Bistro are absolutely instrumental to the pet industry, especially talking from a Nulo standpoint. Um, we're independently owned. Um, very few people actually work for our company. We try to be a nice, nice tight-knit family, just like the staff at Pet Bistro is. And really trying to service the community and bring a whole nother conversation to pet nutrition in general. The Pet Bistro is instrumental for really just talking to customers and bridging that gap between what is actually out there and getting away of a lot of the smoke and mirrors and really talking about nutrition and how it's going to affect your overall health for your pet.